Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Melissa's Mixology. I'm in my pajamas today. I'm hoping you stay in your pajamas today and nice and cozy, and we're going to make an incredible drink. I recently took a class with Bourbon Women, and they were talking to the brand ambassador for Bardstown, and um, she made eggnog. Now, eggnog to me, every time I've had it, I just, I can't. It's sickeningly sweet. It's got like that weird texture going on in your mouth when you have it. It's not for me. So when she made this, I thought, all right, let me try it. It's got bourbon in it. I mean, I thought if anything, that's going to make it a little bit bigger. Now, I was completely wigged out. I'm going to be honest with you. And she uses a raw egg in it. Um, but I made it and I thought, you know what? We have to share this recipe. The goodness is being passed on. So I'm going to share her recipe with you. We'll go over all the ingredients and don't be afraid of the raw egg, okay? All right, and I just have to say, as far as the eggs go, I bought a really high quality brand of egg. I didn't get like some nasty egg, okay? So there's just that. So um, here we go with our ingredients. So with the tasting of Bardstown, they had given all these um, little bottles of all the different bourbons that they are doing, and this is their higher end bourbon. And I thought it's Saturday, and I'm in my pajamas, and I'm going for it. Um, you know, use the bourbon you want. I'm just going to stay true to the bourbon um, that she showed us with this drink. So it's Bardstown. She actually used the Fusion, and this is the Discovery Series. This is their higher end. So you're going to need some bourbon. You are going to need some cream. And you are going to need an all-spice liqueur. And this is the one that I've bought. Um, this is St. Elizabeth All-Spice Dram. And you are going to, there's a lot of ingredients in this, but it's worth it. Um, you're going to need some vanilla. And you are going to need some simple syrup. And for spices, you want to get cinnamon and nutmeg. Okay, cinnamon and nutmeg for that. And you need your egg. Okay, and there's one egg in it. So I'm going to um, crack the egg first in just a little bowl to make sure that I don't get any um, shells in it. So I will do that. Good. Okay, so now here we go. We're just going to um, build our eggnog. So cocktail shaker, and we are going to put our egg in there. Um, then you want to do your spices. So get your cinnamon, and it's just a pinch of cinnamon. goes inside the shaker. And nutmeg. You are going to need two pinches of nutmeg. So I'm running a little low, so here I go. Here's uh, one pinch and then two pinches in the shaker. Um, you are going to need then your vanilla and just a couple drops of it, um, not even a teaspoon, but just a few little drops. And I just kind of put it in the lid there. Um, it's like, I'd say two drops in there, okay? I love vanilla. Vanilla is one of my favorite, um, flavors. Um, okay, and then inside that you are going to do your cream. Oh boy, the magic is already happening. And then you want your simple syrup. I'm looking at the recipe. Sorry if I'm looking down. Um, it's the simple syrup and the allspice. And I just put both in there. So in we go for that. Okay, so this is what she said to do first before you added the ice. And I know you're saying, where the heck is the bourbon? But she said to emulsify the egg first, okay? So I have all of that in there except for the bourbon and the ice. So I'm just gonna put that on there. And you don't have to go crazy, right? Just shake it up and you're breaking up the egg, okay? You're just kind of breaking it up and letting it emulsify with the cream. I was going to say, I was not going to film another video for 2020, um, but when I had this, I was like, I got to share it with all the people out there. You deserve to have this cocktail in your life. Okay, so that is about it, and um, I'm going to just open this up and take a look and make sure, yep, the egg is all broken up, and oh my gosh, you can already just smell all those spices and that allspice. Okay, 
So here we go. Um, we're gonna take the bourbon, the Bardstown bourbon, and this was, again, their higher end one. So, oh my God, that is so good. And then I'm just gonna put some ice in here, okay? So just regular cubed ice goes inside the cocktail shaker. That will about do it. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to shake it with the bourbon, okay, and the ice. So here we go. And I don't have to say it right. You can do it in your pajamas. You can keep shaking and shaking and shaking, right? So here we go. Eggnog coming up. Woo! I'm going to keep going. Oh, my gosh right? You got to make your hands like freezing cold. So the way that she served this cocktail was in a coupe glass. And I found this really, really adorable coupe glass. This was in an antique store. And I'm not going to lie, it was $2. $2. I mean, I feel like you can find some really beautiful stemware at um, antique stores. I've even gone into Goodwill. People are giving away. I think when the older generation is passing away, they're just getting rid of all of these beautiful stemware so really I mean look at this stem here two dollars for that and it's got this beautiful engraving okay so here we go eggnog oh boy I think this would be perfect for the morning opening up gifts um, so here we go look at that beauty oh my god oh my god and you can see, like, you wouldn't even know there was an egg in there, right? All right, so I'm going to be very careful. Now, the garnish for this, she had a whole nutmeg and with a zester went over the top, which was beautiful. I, unfortunately, do not have a whole um, nutmeg. So I'm just taking my ground nutmeg and I'm going to just sprinkle it lightly on the top. Oh, it's so festive. It is just so festive. Um, and so there we go. There is our homemade eggnog. I'm going to give it a little drink. Oh, if you have never had fresh eggnog, I, I mean, I can't like say enough good things about this cocktail that this um, lady, Sam, over at Bardstown made. So make it up, people. Make yourself an eggnog. And um, I wish you happy holidays. Um, I think we are, today is Saturday, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, six days, six days for Christmas. I've got another drink coming for you called Jingle Juice and day of um, drink as well. So you can make the eggnog or another one that I'm gonna post. So feel free to click and subscribe the buttons down below. I always appreciate your comments and um, all the subscribers that are coming along on this journey for, with me. All right. Okay. Ciao, everybody.